Hi, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to another video in my series on Excel tips and tricks. In the previous video, uh, we did a bit of recapping, and we were looking at those four cells specifically. And just to remind you, I said that it is possible that there could be situations where there is more than just those. So it's not just the no and the no that's the same. There could be other ones that are unsuccessful. For example, if it was sold out. So let's say this guy, Scott Scott, he wanted to go watch the movie, but in fact when he tried to apply it was sold out. Okay, but it's still successful there. And we have the same problem that we had before that it doesn't show um, the correct data because of a different value. So again we can use the if or just to rectify this. I'm just going to go to that one. So I'm going to say if, and I'm going to click there now, and I'm putting or, if open bracket so if that cell is oh I can actually keep that one so if that cell whoops ding 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 one more if L4 is equal to no all no allocation or it says uh, or L4 is equal to sold out sold out. So if either one of them are true, if it's that or it's that, then you're going to say no, otherwise you will be saying yes. And remember, open bracket, open bracket, close bracket, close bracket, what am I missing? It looks like it is, okay, let me try that. There we go, that one is fine, and now we should have four no's. I should have another no, we're sold out. So sold out is now also no, so one, two, three, four. There are four no's. So that is just a, a quick one, just to show a variation where we use the or statement again, so that this works out. Okay, now for my conditional formatting. I will highlight all of that. Uh, on the home tab you find the conditional formatting tab so basically what I want to do if they were successful if it was yes I want a, a green background if it was no I want a yellow or a red or something to that effect so I highlight the range I go to conditional formatting and I say new rule I click on new rule and it looks a bit overwhelming but the only one I'm interested in right now I want to format only cells that contain a cell value that is equal to the word yes. If it is equal to the word yes, I click on format, I go to full, and I want to choose the green option. So I'm going to choose, let's say I'm going to choose that green. You can also change the font. Um, it's already bold and it's black, so we can see what it looks like. Um, you may want to change it to white, for example. So I can change it white and say, okay, so it looks like that and just to be sure let me just go back and also make it bold just in case so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna say okay now you can see that has changed but we also have the nose that we want to do something with so I go back to the conditional formatting I'll go to manage rules this time and I will say new rule to add to this one format only cells that contain a cell value that is equal to the word no then I'm going to format it. This time I'm going to fill it with a red color. And I'm going to make the font. Uh, shall I keep it black and red? It might work. Let's keep it black. Let's keep it bold. It's going to look like, yeah, that's okay. And I'm going to say okay and apply and okay. So that's what it looks like. So that automatically does it. So for example, let's say this seat actually let's say for some reason they allowed him in if we change that that changes automatically but he's not eligible so we're not going to allocate it so that is also another way of automating some of the tasks and that is how you do conditional formatting thank you for watching